Australia's response to September 11 was like that of many other countries. We passed extraordinary laws that challenged long-held assumptions about how the criminal law should operate. Those assumptions are still being challenged today and they cast very big questions about Australia's anti-terror laws. One remarkable feature of our anti-terror laws is just how many were passed by our federal parliament. We didn't start with any laws on the national statute book but quickly passed many laws in the wake of September 11. All up, we've passed 61 new anti-terror statutes since September 11. 13 of those were passed during the life of the Rudd and Gillard governments, but in fact most of those, 48 in fact, were passed during the life of the Howard government. That meant from 2001 to 2007, Australia enacted 48 anti-terror statutes, or an average of one new anti-terror law every 6.7 weeks. It was a remarkable bout of lawmaking that exceeds anything like it in other countries. In fact, one international scholar, Kent Roach, has said that Australia suffered from hyper-legislation where we passed laws that outstripped the ability of civil society simply to keep up. Australia's anti-terror laws are remarkable not just in the number that were enacted but also in their scope. In fact, when you look at the detail of those laws, it's clear just how directly they challenge long-held assumptions. Anti-terror law itself depends upon the definition of what it means to commit an act of terrorism. That's something that is defined in Australia's criminal code and it says that if you undertake a violent act or disrupt an electronic system for political, ideological or religious reasons in an attempt to coerce or intimidate a government or a section of the population, then you are committing a terrorist act. It obviously covers such things as hijacking planes or bombing people, but it goes further than that in also dealing with acts of liberation that even though they involve violence and political motives are the sorts of things that we wouldn't necessarily regard as terrorism. There's no doubt under Australia's laws that uh, Nelson Mandela and his fight against apartheid was an act of terrorism. It's also clear that the people who have fought against the Syrian government are engaged in terrorism and that those who fought Indonesia in East Timor were engaged in terrorism. It shows how broad our definition is, and even though it's well drafted compared to many others around the world, it does encapsulate uh, acts of violence and acts of liberation that might be more commonly seen as those of a freedom fighter rather than a terrorist. In addition to defining terrorism, Australian law also deals with a range of new offences. You can, for example, be jailed for financing terrorism or even for possessing a thing in some way connected with terrorism. Uh, the police also get new powers of warrantless searches where they can enter people's houses without getting a warrant from a judge or someone else. We've got control orders whereby people can be held potentially under house arrest for up to a year or prevented from using the internet or a range of other restrictions on their liberty. We've got preventative detention orders which mean that people can be detained without charge or trial for up to 14 days and even other provisions which deal with things such as new censorship and also speech in that it's possible to be jailed, not simply for what you do, but for what you may say. The most extraordinary anti-terror law of all in Australia is those powers given to ASIO. That's our secret intelligence organisation. ASIO can have any person, a citizen, even not a suspect, detained for potentially up to a week and forced to answer questions. If someone is detained and they refuse to answer those questions, they can be jailed for up to five years. And it's something that can apply to family members and others who may not be involved in terrorism directly, but might simply have information about potential terrorist activity that ASIO can require them to reveal.